Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Fate Kali Linear Prisma Ilya 3 or or you could call it Fate Linear Prisma Ilya Season 4 or whatever how you see fit. Anyways, this episode here seems to be okay. Nothing much big or going on, you know? So, um, if my recap is short and if I'm missing any certain important detail, please forgive me. Nothing much I can say and I know this is late because I had other things to do better than just like staying home and... and not doing much on the day, okay, you know? So, let's get this started. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that Ilya is reunited with Kuro and Bazette, and they end up going into a school which is actually parallel to, like, um, Ilya and Kuro's school, in including Mio's school, you know? Apparently, that place is just empty, and they're using it as a base. And, of course, Tanaka-san will not wear anything but gym clothes, which is really ridiculous, not to mention... A big bing bong, bong bongs, or however you want to call it, and so forth. And I think in my mind, what the hell? Are you serious? And we have to it that they they end up having a discussion about what's to come, you know? Especially what the disadvantages are for them. And we get to know that um, Beatrice, Flower Child, whatever her name is, who is voiced by Ria Kugiyama, which I like her voice actor, honestly. <laughs> okay, anyways, jokes aside about me. Um, we have to it that her ability or card is known to be Thor, which is one of the strongest Norse, go Norse mythology gods, apparently, from what um, is said or given in this episode. And because of Molia as the hammer or weapon, it's just freaking dangerous, yada yada yada. But we have to it that they grab dinner from the old man who makes mapo tofu, which I would not reveal his name here, apparently, until it is revealed exactly I will say the name, such as Gilkun is known as Gilgamesh, you know, one of the oldest heroes in history. While Ilya is thinking about what's been going on and so forth and feeling somewhat depressed, Kuro ends up fighting her all out and tries to knock some sense out of her, you know? And we get to know that the cards that are made, apparently, are like um, the greed from humanity, you know, and so forth. And a lot of information that Gilgamesh confirmed to um, Bezetto was very important. This is about the Ironsworth family, which I don't remember much. And as for Kuro, she ends up making Ilya go out, out to make her to make her use. Um, let me see here. Lancer, Saber, and Rider's Rider cards to get them all together. Since Bezetto decides to give it, give them to Ilya because she's like one of the p f few hopes for them. We have two of the things gotten gotten a little like um out of hand, but Ilya won, and she thought Kuro was gonna die, but it was just like sh her losing her mana, and she ends up kissing her, and it gets into some kind of sexualized position that a lot of men tends to imagine or even think about nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, um, after a kiss and Ilya was about to say something, she said she can't really fight without Kuro and the others, so she wants them to stay with her, you know? That kind of thing. Next episode, it looks like another thing going on, but I don't know what's planning to happen next. So, that's about it, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm off of Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Toodoo.